Hi. It's been a while. Look at my eye. Look at this. This is fire. Ooh. Oh, look at them. Oh. Oh, look at that shit. That's cold. Right? Ooh. Hey, that's pretty good. <laughs> Don't mind me with my uh God, I didn't get haircut bad. <laughs> oh yes We're back Wait for it Oh Music to my ears What's up Shadi? How you doing baby? Mwah. If I, if I could, I'll let you see on my face. Just saying. But yes, we are back in the perfection. The goat. The gem. The cindered. Dark Souls free. Oh, yes. Mm, it's been, it's been quite a while since I last uh, uploaded a video. It's been like um, around a month now. It's just that the whole Christmas season came by, I just wanted to chillax a bit. I need to finish off some other games in my own time and some recordings like Dead Space. Um, Resident Evil 4. Um, and I streamed the Lives of P. And I really enjoyed that. If you haven't played Lives of P, I highly recommend it. You should. But I'm like, okay, I need to finish off some of these, these Souls games before the DLC comes out. Or at least get a decent amount of way through them because... The DLC is going to be coming out. The trailer should be coming out sometime in February. I don't know when, but it's going to happen. It, it, it better happen. If not, then I'm going to come to your house and I'm going to be shit out of you and poop on your bed. You're you're a fucking idiot. Don't fuck with me. Anyway, <laughs> look, I, I I'm very serious when it comes to these games. As you know, uh, number one fan. I mean, I'm not like Vati, but you know what I mean. I'm a, I'm a big fan. Ooh, you got Sister Freed's outfit? Ooh. Ooh. Oh, he fucks shit up. He does. Also, he's got the twin daggers. Very twin blades. Very, very broken. That's like the most broken... It's not the most broken, but it's the most used weapon in, in like PvP and all these games. It's very quick with its attacks and can bleed up really quickly. Obviously, they nerfed it stupidly in this game but yeah in the last episode from what i remember we got to we beaten um the last boss we beaten was Oldridge, and then our next boss is yorm the giant yes that's it also i changed up my gear a little, a little bit i'm turning my um headphone my finger there you go I changed my um, armor set a little bit. It had, it's like it's mostly all blues, still some reds, but yeah. So here we are. Old is the fire of God. So that's where we were now, but we need to head to um, the distant, ma this distant manor, because the next boss is like way down below. Just like in um, Dark Souls One, we go to the highest point of the games. Being like Orlando, and we'll go down to the lowest point, being like, like hell, basically, because we're heading to like the the dungeons of Irifil. Heading to point, the dungeons called this place called Irifil, which again I love the name. Ooh, a coin. Ooh, penny. Ooh, piece of candy. Yeah, like I said, I'm just gonna like. I rush for all this because I know what most stuff is. I just like collecting stuff because it's fun. You, you on the other hand, are not fun though. God, this game looks good. Oh man, I'm just saying, if we get like a PS5 remaster remake for the like the first for the trilogy or like Bloodborne, it'll be like yes, give it to me. Oh yeah, this guy, this fucking guy is come to attack me. Airfield Dungeons! Don't worry, ladies and gentlemen, we won't be here for long, because this place is shite. Where's this bloke at? Oi! Looks like you're doing, mate. There you are. You got a cool armor set. I like his helmet. Can I, get you, can I get your armor set? I don't know, actually. 
Is that like this giant curve saw and a crossbow? <laughs> and <laughs> oh, that was weird. Like I pressed R two, it didn't work. <laughs> that that's cool ability. But mine's cooler. Check this shit out. Hoo ha, hoo ha, and skadoosh. Hey, get tea back on. Yeah, the, the Mercudo. Is that how you pronounce it? The Mercudo. Motion detected at the front door. Shush, Alexa. Shush, my child, or else I'll pop your head off. This is good. I actually don't know. Uh, where's my Black Blade? Five Street Sword. Uchitana. Uch yeah. Um, oh, yeah, I was upgrading this, wasn't I? For my other thingy. This is um, 1 3. This is 1 2 3 plus 61, okay. And this is a D and C, but this is a. A, B, C, D, E. This is better. In terms of like attribute bonus. This is more of a. Yeah. Still a dex weapon, but. I'm gonna have to go for this then. There's a spin slash one, so it's not like a. Oh, that's the. um. Yeah, curved great sword. Oh, okay. It's not a katana then. Hmm. I don't know. I like I like katanas in this game because they're really quick and like really like. Oh, oh, now cool. You get like good hits on them. Like I said, I'm going for like a katana dex build on this game, just because there's one boss I want to fight later on. Actually, there might be two. Two, but there's one or two bosses I want to fight later on that. I I'm going to need to be quick on, and they're all and they're all in the DLC. Thankfully, in this in the main game, using this weapon is a bit of a breeze. Also, this guy's gonna scream. <sighs> the amount of people I've seen like get scared for that is funny. Also, these dudes fucking suck. They spray this mist that halves your health bar, that reduces the amount of health you get. See, it goes down. Obviously, like, it re goes, it goes, oh, yeah. you fucking. I forgot to do that in this area. <laughs> God, they push you off. Oh, so much of a soul veteran am I. Oh, when in doubt, never trust edges in these games. Oh, and maggots. Oh, God. Oh, God, this area sucks. <laughs> the enemies suck. This place sucks. Everything else sucks. Like, if. Uh, I'm gonna get hemorrhoids from it. It's gonna give me a headache. <sighs> These dudes suck. I think they were like wardens, I think. Either way, bad times. Look at that health bar. It goes up to like one health bar and you can get one shot at it. The lowest you can go. There's like item over that thing, but I. Oh, Feheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheheh
Oh damn. I mean, I'm began, I'm doing, I've been doing pretty good by myself alone, just because I've pre well experience with these games. But still, I'm like, ooh. I need to make like good progress. Ooh. Plus, after after I beat Yorm, it gets a lot more difficult. So I need, I need to be like pumping. I need to get Andre to like be slapping that iron on my sword. Pause. Also, I think you give me a uh, what should we call it? Okay, that was a miss. Oh look at that! It's a fucking mimic. Oh god. Oh god. Oh man. Oof. The grab of death that is. Oh god, so creepy. The laugh as well, it's like hyena's laugh. Ooh. Yeah, it's like oh And we're not that's a sign of noise I don't want to be hearing at night when I'm alone. This is like <laughs> Not that, that sounds like a dinosaur. Yeah. F this shard. Also, you can hear big old snoring. I wonder who that. But yeah, this is a really short area. Oop. Up down here. Oh yeah. Also, you can you can finish off. Um, not Celeste. Secret's um, quest line because there's a quest line you can do in with Secret where you help him out. Uh, with the fire demon, and then you help him out at the cathedral of the deep, and then, then he then goes all the way over here, and he can finish off the quest line, and then you can he helps you fight a Yorm, and it's like Yorm was his old friend from the past before he became the Lord of Cinder, and he said that when I come back from the grave, you you have to kill me. It's like all right, bad, and he he does that, but obviously that he only comes and kills him if we help him. And you get like a oh shit! I realized. Hold on. Do I have a tablet? Do I have a a don't? I'm just clocking it in now because I think you get a tiny nice slab from helping him, and you need to get tiny nice slab to get to plus five. And there's a bonfire nearby anyway. Once this wake up this sleeping giant, green giant. But you don't fuck with this dude though. I'll oh, grab these souls though. That's why. But you give me choke though. Oh god. Yep, let's just go this way. <laughs> you got pickaxe, like a mine. With a diamond and a neverite. Oh god. No, 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 no. Oh god. PSD. <laughs> the fucking rats, man, I tell ya. What's worse than bastards and mimics? Rats. I don't know why I try to press R2 because R2. Ooh. No, no, fuck off. I'm good. I'm good, man. I'm honestly, I'm good. I'm good. I'm good. Take. Fuck. Oh god. I, I failed. I failed. Uh. Rats are the absolute brain tumors of these games. Skadoosh. Oh, fuck off. See, that's why I don't like using great swords or any like long gay swords, because this shit. It's stuck on everything. Also, uh, two chests here. One of them's like dog magic ring, the other one I can't remember. But. Uh, you're the mimic. You're. You're not the mimic. Oh, 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 tell key. Okay, we need that for thingy. Can I do? Can I do secrets quest line? I don't think I can. Oh, fucking old curse! Oh, stamina. Yeah, that you get that old cell key and you go back to where the giant was, and you can do secrets. Um, you can finish off secret quest line. I don't think I can do it now. I think I'm too far into the game. But yeah, cause. Oh. I was thinking about doing it earlier in the past. I was like, nah. Be more fun to fly by myself. 
God. The miss, I tell you, is so fucking annoying. It keeps... Oh Christ, oh Christ, oh Christ. Hate the miss, hate the miss, the miss. Hate the miss, hate the miss, hate the miss, hate the miss, hate the miss. Mist is the fucking worst. Uh, bye. Oh no, no! Ooh. Ooh, that was close. Can I just have something that negates this shit? Oh god. Oh, I'm good. I'm good. You done? You done? You done? We're safe? Okay, we're safe. Woo! God. Alright, they want they really want to mess you up with that one. It's like five basilisks. Ew, don't make that noises. Ew. Ew. Ew, stop it. Oh, you're like from the Exorcist. Stop. I do, not gonna lie, I really do hope to bring these mimics back in Elder Ring. See? Dark Clutter Ring. Because they don't, because they, they didn't bring them back in Elder Ring. They just swapped them out for like the teleportation traps and all that stuff, which just sucks. Because it was so cool and so fun to try and test like, is this a mimic? Is this a mimic? You gotta like wait for like a second, but like, wait. Is this chain good or the chain bad? With the Elder Ring DLC coming literally any day now, in all honesty, it's gonna come within the next few months. This area also fucking sucks, cause there's those big rats. And those dudes that could kill me. There's missed dudes. But let's go up here. Uh, fuck off rats. Oh god, you, you look like you got herpes on you. Shock over here, by the way. Bye! Cunts! <laughs> Bye that bitch! Miracle over there you can get. Um, but yeah, I really, I really do hope to bring those back for the, the, the DLC. Even just like, even as like a one-time thing or something, it'll just be so fun and so cool just to bring them back. Cause it's just, oh, I know. I'm just like, it'll just be so cool. Even, even as a boss, that'd be cool, like a mini boss, but like the champion mimic. Actually, no, there is only thing like that. With um, FaZe, Death Becker, Panion. I don't know, I just think it would just be cool to, like... Even just as, like, a mini-boss, just get, like, a mimic fight. You get, like, a, like, a, like, a, uh, more cool weapon, but, like, a key item that you can get just for fighting him. Also, way, way over there... Is the, um, Arch Dragon Peak. So, we can't head there, we can't head there until later on, until we head... Back to um, Lothric. It's, it's cool to see it though. One of the go to bosses is up there though. So cool. God, I love this night sky though as well. So. Guys, I'm just saying though. Seeing this in like 2024 or 2025 graphics would be phenomenal. I mean, don't get me wrong, this game still holds up beautifully already now. But had an egg and an extra layer of like atmosphere. And just like, oh man, it'll be amazing. That's the amber over there, but it is not fucking worth it, I'm telling you now. Any item here you get here is not gonna be worth it. Trust me. There are so many fucking enemies here that will kill you. You do get like a coal here though. The thing over there, it's just it's it's bad times all around. I mean, you can do it if you want to, but enjoy all that. I'm not. I'll probably just come back to a lake, just to be honest, because... <sighs> Those enemies suck. Also, this area is a bit shit as well, not gonna lie. It's a bit of a nothing area. All you, all you need to do is rush down to the boss and that's it. But here we are! The reframed capital! But oh no, there's a gargoyle. Oh no, oh, oh shit, oh, mm, oh, oh, mm, oh, mm, oh, uh, oh, 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 oh no. Anyway, bye. 
Ah, oh, this light is tall. Speaking of ladders, trying to make a nice tr transition there. Let me a familiar someone right here. It's McGuffin. Is that his name? McGuffin? It's like some sort of Irish name, but if you don't know who he is, he's the ladder dude in um, Dark Souls 2. When you, when you go, when you see that giant, not hole, but you know what I mean, when you f go down to the, um, the catacombs, fight the rats, and you know, um, get down to the um, the rotten. This is the dude who helps you get down. Cause you have to pay him like like twenty k or thirty k souls to get him the ladder. You see him at the um, Harvest Valley. But yeah, it's just a, it's a little little nod there to show that all the games are connected in their own ways. There's a really cool like reference there. Plus he gave me an undead bone shard, so he's absolute G in my books. But still though, him with his ladder, all the way to the end. He loved his ladders, I tell ya. I, I, I love when they show those little tidbits, like, if you know him, then you'll definitely know him, but if you don't, it's like, oh, it's just a random NPC. But when you, like, understand the lore and all that stuff, it's like, oh shit, he was there in this game, it's like, ah, oh, banger. Even in, like, in Dark Souls 1 or Bloodborne, when you go back in time to the past, they see all these other connections, like, oh my god. Motion detected at the front door. Shush. And you see all these connections from the past, like seeing like a young Sith and Dark Souls 1 from the Abyss. It's like, oh my god. Or uh, in Bloodborne, it's like. Um, yeah, it's just so cool. It's like. Uh, honestly, this game, you can't beat these games in terms of like. The, the stuff they do in this game is just phenomenal. In all of them, really. I'm curious what sort of connections that we're able to get in the Elder Ring DLC. If it's like going to the future or going to the past, because they do that stuff really, really well in these games. So I'm like really, really excited to see what they're going to cook up with that and how much you're going to implicate with the law. Okay. Um, reinforce. Do I have enough for you? I need another two more. Oh my god, good cancer. Sorry. I'm gonna farm for these, man. Fucking hell. Well, in the meantime, give me this. There's 11 now. Be Very careful. Yes, 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 yes. Very quiet. Ooh, Ornstein's arm. <laughs> I love these leggings because I see a lot of people using them. This just looks so stupid. Um, oh, it's 15.8 though. Jeez. I see the leg of favings. This is like an arm set. Oh, good. But I really want this one to be cool, but it's not like powerful. I want. I really want to do like a full Ornstein's armor set. Um, Ornstein's Sparrow's armor, but it's really fucking heavy. Can I like try to think that like? Hmm. It sucks that I can't like see the attributes from what I'm wearing now. To so be like, oh, it's like, on like here, on like where my camera is now, I'll be like, oh, you need, it shows you like all the greens and blues, greens and blues, greens and blues and reds, but you, you but you can't see it to buy it. And it's like, well, that's a waste of money. Um, <laughs> I really want to wear this fucking leggings now. It looks so stupid. Okay, let me um. Ashen one. How where is our fat rolling? I doubt it. Where is it? Oh god, look at that. Look at his imposing thighs. Dude, Damn, dude's boy. caked up. Damn, boy! It's too, he's oh there. man, it, boy, uh, uh, that's I, a thick ass I need this. Even that's making me fat roll. Oh shit, okay. Uh, it's so silly, I love it. I can't wear it now, obviously, but. Is it yours wearing? Uh, no, it's not. It was a year, wasn't it? Give me fat roll. Oh, yeah, I was wearing these, though. Yeah, I was wearing this. These are too heavy for me. It's not fat rolling. Yeah. I need, oh God, even now, like... You need to upgrade your, like, 
equipment like so much in the beginning of the game or you're just screwed with whatever armor set you get. It's like damn. Um on that bone shard, give me a plus six. Even with my S's, I should be way higher than that. But anyhow, that's that's enough about me. Let's go fight Yorm the Giant! Bit of a um a gimmick boss though, he is. But he's a really good one. I love it, Jorm. The whole design of him, the music and all that, it's like, oh. Jorm's there for most of Jorm's there for the story, not for the fight itself. It's kinda like the opposite of the Storm King, where you are there for the impact rather than the uh, story. Well this one's the opposite, like you're here for the story rather than for the impact. My hair's a mess as well, I need I'm gonna get cut soon. I just put up I just put up some stuff in to make it look good. Yeah. You almost say easy fight. As long as you know what you're doing now, because I remember finding him the first time I was like, what the fuck am I doing? Shut, dude, shut the fuck up. But yeah, this is like an easy one for a lot of people. Um Oh yeah, I should also mention that he's a lot of Cinder as well. <laughs> Why did I forget to mention that? Oh, God, I fucking suck. Let's uh, remove this, because we're going to need to go um, barehanded into this. I put this... I can't put my shield back. Oh. Wait, yeah, we need to go barehanded into this fight. Because there's a certain weapon oh, we need to go into. God. The music as well is so good. Woohoo! Run for the next, baby. And then... Grab the storm ruler. It's kind of shit that you have to like fumble to your inventory to use this. Where is the where is it? How do I No. There we go. But yeah, it's like the with the Storm King or Praetor Rykal, where you can like charge it up and then you gotta do like a big slash I am. The good one's a bit better because, oh god, charging this up takes forever. But it's cool though. And then. Oh god. If only they had star effects in Fire Force to do that, it'd be so cool. And it buffs up in this phase. No! Let me do that. I don't know why. What what happened? Uh, oh god! Uh. Uh. Oh god! Why are buttons not working? Uh, run away! 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 Skadoosh! There we go. Oh god! Yeah, he's very on you. This weapon's dope, though. It's like a giant, like, axe cleaver. God. It's like something from Fire Force. Oh, man. It'll be cool to have this old audio design in, like, Fire Force. Oh, man, I fucking hit you. That's bullshit. Oh, I hate... That's had to be so many times where... I'll bad hit him, but it just ca it does that shit and interrupts it. Crash him off. Skadoosh! Goodbye, Yorm. It's definitely the easiest one out of the four out of the souls out of the bosses, the main story ones, but like I say, it's more for the story. Then Oh no. I'm I'm flying for this. <laughs> Ooh. Oh, we can teleport it. <laughs> oh, Prince Lothric. Oh, I love him. N not in that way, pause, but. Please save his soul. 
Oh. Man, this is where this is where the boss quality goes even higher from here. But enough though, we don't have that many bosses left in the main game. We got We got like four bosses in the main game. And we got like a few more optional ones which can do after this after this. Um but I am not going to be falling for this rookie mistake. Uh, give me one second, because the amount of times I... I, I remember, because my brother was playing through this recently for the first time, I've been, re, I've been really like, who can be like, play this game? And I was like, alright, bad. Uh, a bit of story time, but yeah. Um, I remember I was... Because my brother keeps saying like, oh, this game's a shit, I'm like, Ugh. you know, because he plays Fortnite, because like 14, it's like, okay, shut the fuck up, big kid. So I was like, alright then. If you think he's so good, then play Dark Souls, play any of the Dark Souls games, because he's played Elden before, and he said he loved it, and that was, like, two years ago. I was like, okay, bad. So he's played Dark Souls 3, and he's, and he's about to fight, he's fighting the Nameless King and the Prince Lothric, and it's like, <laughs> and then I remember seeing him about to fight the Dancer, I was like, I was like, come on, press, press the thing. Press, interact with the corpse, I was like, okay. And he did that, and he looked at me, as a cutscene was playing, I was like, you son of a bitch, you bastard. <laughs> the, look, the look of despair in his eyes as he realized about finding another boss with like one Estus flash, one Estus flash remaining. I was like, oh, it's fucking jokes, bro. <laughs> the look in his eyes in despair, I was like, don't do this to me, man. I got like 80k souls on me. He's like, games again. <laughs> oh, it's fucking funny though. Uh, before we, um, do anything else? I want to use. Um, I want to look at Yom Soul. <laughs> oh, it's, it's those moments in these games you just cherish. It's so fucking funny. <laughs> um, let's see. Soul of Yom the Giant. Yom is a descendant of the ancient conqueror, but was asked by the very people who once subjugated to lead them, serving as both a mighty blade and a stone hard shield. Hmm. Interesting, but yeah, you can get his um blade, his um giant machete, which is 19 and he fit a strength. Good god, and you can get his um thingy, which is a 40. Good god, this this kind of reminds me of this um, oops, shit. this shield really reminds me of the one that you see fighting the um. The town knight in and demon souls. He's got that thing. Ah! That feels like oh, 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 oh. You can you, you can buy it. You can get it later on in the game, but it's like this. Very similar in design. There's this sort of like imposing wall of a shield. You like shield bash like. Oh. It's cool. Ah! I haven't done build with it, but pff, this is imposing. This is. It's a one eight five alone. Good God, it's a great axe. Crazy that is, but I'm good. I just want to show off the uh, weapons and stuff you can get. Usually I don't get a lot of um, boss stuff other than like rings and the sword. Jesus Christ, dude, you scared me then. Uh, but yeah, this sword's done now. We don't need to use it anymore. We got this puppy on me now. Nice. Um, anything else I need to do before I do something else that I'm gonna do? Yes. Um, uh, 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 my fair lady, please sit on me. Uh, yes. Ooh, three levels up. I like that a lot. So we can do you, do you, and do you. Farewell, Ashen One. Farewell, Ashen One. I wear this with a fat rolling now. No. Man, God, it's so hard to find an arm set you can do without a good arm set without fat rolling. Jesus, you gotta be like, you gotta be like, if it's if it's powered by slightly a bit, then you can't fa can't fast roll with it. It's like fuck. What are these gloves? These gloves are all shit. <laughs> um, where you? Do I fast roll when I'm wearing you? I don't. Okay, we're back to this armor set, this face then. the king mask. 
the gimp face. That's what I'm calling this um, armor set, the gimp. Ah, ah what can I do service to you, Ashen One? Ashen One, bring me more souls. Um, <laughs> yeah, I'm good. I should want to bring me more stars. But, fair not, because we're about to find another boss. Yes, I know. Because we have to go all the way back to this bonfire. Remember that old lady gave us a banister? Right after fighting Fort? It's like, oh, use the banister and you can go to the other places. I was like, ah, yes. Very quite. Ah, oh, look at this out. Look how far we've came. I haven't came at all yet, but emotionally, I mean, we've done all of this. This is light all lit up again. Why is that? I thought I'd turn them off. Yeah, whatever. But we've been all over here. Over there is um, Londo. Um, there's a Londo or a Londo all over there and Irfil. Down there, where my head is right now. That's where we fought the Abyss Watchers. Like, all the way over there. Over there is the, um... Cursed Grey... Cursed Rotted Grave Roots. Over there is where we fought Deacons of the Deep. And right above my head, where my head is right now, that's, um, the Arch Dragon Peak. We had that later, but still. It's so cool seeing everything in this game. Like I said, it's like open up to Elder Ring for the first time. You see everything where you can go to. It's like you can go everywhere here. It's like damn, that's 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 cold. <sighs> unlike your, unlike um, Vort though, because he's dead. Ah, old ladies. Looks like this one about to kick the bucket. Prince Lothric is in your hands. Please save his soul. Tell him what he must be a lord. Uh, damn, she's dead, bro. Oh, game's a game. What's it say? Praise the cinder. Indeed, brother. Praise the cinder. Praise the... Wait. Gotta do it. We got to do this. Wait. Huh? Huh? Okay, we're good. Oh, I'm... <clears throat> Gotta do this. Praise the sun. Hmm. <laughs> He's nice. Right, I'm a bear. Blood thinks he's super you got them right. <laughs> oh, okay. Sorry about that. I need to get my holy sun power into me. Lot on. Uh, okay, here we go. Uh. <laughs> Even for me, when I did this for the first time, I was like, no, don't tell me. Boss straight after a boss. A lot of people just go talk to her straight away and activate the this cutscene. Without going to bonfire and resting, getting the soul to level up. Whoa. Oh, God. So creepy. Let me turn my volume a little bit. Quiet footsteps. So eerie. The dancer of Boreal Valley. Oh, I love her design. I love that silky glow to her. This design, this boss fight, I'd be on my first try. Like, damn. Oh, God. Yeah, I'm a bit on the, on the level. Yeah. Okay, I'm, this, is what I, I'm, this is what I need to start focusing. Oh. I love that sort of um, ghostly silk that she has behind her. Also, what an ass. So eerie and so like... 
I know, so... I love it. But as you can see, she's lighting everything on fire, so that's bad. And they're like, echoing footsteps, like, oh. Just kind of like a, like a, um, a, a knight about to get married. So creepy. But talk about, oh, oh god, here we go. This moveset will definitely kill me. Christ. So I mean she buffs her attacks up and gets two swords. Oh. She buffs it up again. Ooh. Here we. Oof. Like I say, she, she, her back must be killing her. She must have off rights or something. She's like, oh, back check. Oh, God. Oh, okay. Yep, that was my fault. No, 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 no. And... Oh! Jeez. She's good. She got quite a range. Not gonna lie. Ooh, the dust. Ooh, no, no, no. Be safe. Oh, go call. Skadoosh. No. Oh, there we go. <laughs> Got out. Come in. Let me to go, sir. Soul of the dancer. Now, boss, I done there. Let's um, put the basin in. This is also really cool. This is so creepy. I love this. This cutscene here. This is a statue. Wait for it. Cuts his own neck. Blood starts coming out. Not blood. It's like black goo, but still. God, I love. It's like so. That is blood. It's, oh, it's, I don't. I don't know. What, I don't know what it's about. It's so like creepy. A, a, a statue's bleeding. It's kind of like if you see like a statue smiling. Like, it's like in the first few chapters of Soul Leveling, we see that that that, that scene with the statue smiling like really creepily. It's like that. Like seeing some like inanimate object moving. It's like similar to the um, Weeping Angels where you see them moving when you don't look. It's like oh. But yeah, it's pretty cool. And let's read the soul um, before we do anything else. The Pontus Sullivan bestowed a double slashing sword upon the distant daughter of the former royal family, ordering her to serve the fist as a dancer, and then the outrider to an equivalent to exile. Ah. Interesting. So you used to be a daughter of a royal family? Ah. Also, um, late earlier on in the last episode, I mentioned that there were two knights that went to him um, because Pontiff Sullivan um, ordered two knights to go to Lothric. One of them was the dancer, and one of them was Vought to be like a company duo. So these two went here, and then just like I, f I don't know what they did. I can't remember. It's been a long time since I did the lore of this game. But I remember them Pontiff like right, I'm sending you two out to Lothric, and they're like, yes, sir. And I went here and I killed him. Alright, um, let's head back because I forgot to put the skull on the throne. 
always, it's always weird, weird when we think about that. I put a skull on the throne, like, we literally ripped the head off of the enemy, de-boned de him and de-faced him, literally, and put his head, his skull on the throne. It's like, kind of fucked up, not gonna lie. Next time you see him Bloodborne. Uh -huh. sure. I can see we got the miracle here. This is a very good miracle. But, it's a faith build. And you can have twin blades. I did build with this at one point. It was pretty decent. Not the best, but it was alright. But the D in everything. So D in strength, D in dexterity, D in miracle, and D in magic. But yeah, it's not for me though. Let's use this. Number 100k. Also, we need to read Yorm Skull. What it's sentence to say? Reading the skull. L Lonely Yorm became a Lord of Cinder to put the profaned flame to rest, knowing full well that those who speak of him were quite insincere. In in oh man. It's always those situations where people diss the bosses, but then they do the most heroic acts for them. For the people that care. Put oh, this bad boy on. That's a big boy. That's like my whole body mass. That's what skull is. This guy needs. This guy needs to see a uh, get some dentures. There's like, one more throw missing now. We'll get to that much later on. These games are so good. All right, let's pump this up. Um, I can get two levels up. Okay. Um. God, you sick. The music. I fucking love the music in his games. Alright. Um, and actually, let me do something else first. Let me, um. Not cheating. It's called scientific research. So I want to get another level up in my. Sorry, I pressed my um, hop bar by mistake. I pressed uh, my hop bar because, yeah. Sorry, but yeah, I want to do some research on um what's that fucking called again? Um, no, that's not it. Where is it? Here we go, titan titanium scales. I want to upgrade my... Um... Weapon. Which is, I, I, it's just so hard to find half the time, I can never remember... Where they are. Let's go for an annoying ad. One sec. Alright, um, I'm trying to think now. You can get like a bunch of them all over the place. Uh, it's like, I'm trying to remember now where shit is. Oh, um, okay, there's one in, okay, I'll be two seconds. Let me grab two, um, thingies. And I will be right back with the stuff I need to get an upgrade. <laughs> Okie dokie, Nibirino. Got my thing to plus three now. Fuck more shit up. I like it a lot, mate. Also, do I have arrows in my inventory? I don't. Okay, good. But yeah, we can go uh, a few ways now. We can go this way, or we can go that way. Let's go this way first. Why? Bonfire. That's why. This game has a lot of re. What's the right word? Not inconvenient, but really closely by bonfires, which is a bit un unnecessary bonfire. That's where that's where I went before. Also, this dude is mega suck balls. Oh yeah, for God, you fucking heal. So this this little douche. I'm gonna die soon. No, not. Eh. I didn't do well so far. This is the best game I've done without dying as much.
Because this guy sucks though, he's so aggressive. Oh, catch my god. Mm, mm. Oh shit. Nye, nye. I fucking. God bless the ring. God bless the sunlight ring. See what I mean? Stupid fucking damage. Fuck off. Honestly, man, this guy sucks. Oh my god, let me fucking attack. Jesus. It's honestly the fucking worst. You only get like 5k off him. It's like an absolute migraine to deal with that dude. It's like, oh my days. These knights here as well, you can fight. Yeah, I just want to kill that other dude because he gives you that, that soul item. But here's the next bonfire. We're coming to another uh, optional boss again. No one's either though, because I've still got my ember slapped on. So I have the ability to not die. Oh, you have a fucking miracle though. Hold on. There we go. Now I'm, now I'm going to be dead soon. Thanks, game. Ah, uh, fuck. I'm done. Is it worth getting that? Not really. It's only 5k. But yeah, I'm going to do a, another optional boss here because there's one really close by which leads to another optional boss which I want to do now. Well, I can hope I can do. But yeah, we got to deal with this um, big bloke. He's like the bouncer. I mean, he looks like one. Ooh, I wouldn't want to make that noise. He's got like a bounce to build. Alright, alright, mate. Sorry, love. No ID. Gonna get in. My time I like to show my ID to the bouncers is so bloody annoying. I don't look like a 14 year old man. Ah, yes. Elevator. Why is there a bonfire nearby? Oh, shit. I didn't clock that in. There's, there's no bonfire. Until you fight the dude. Consume King's Garden. Better slap another Ember then, just in case. Yeah, this is this is all optional, by the way. It's all this area is. It's a poison mist area, so have fun with that, kids. But you get a lot of like titanium chunks out of this. This is a good like farming area to get materials to upgrade. So if you want to do that, you can do. Is there one of those? Night dudes, uh, these puzzle mans, which is just they're one of the weirdest enemies. They're super aggressive, they're hard to kill, and there's just so many of them here. I'm not bothered getting all these items because they're all like titanium stuff, which I don't need. All I need now is titanium scales and then the slab, and I'm golden. Golden boy, oh god, just get head down, head down. The boss is literally right down there. This, this is the King of Lothric, by the way, we're about to see. That noise we heard earlier, and that the one just now, that's, that's him. This is, I know, so Bloodborne-esque. Especially little tendrils from his spine. Ah. Uh, ah. Uh, they do you in slaves. Finally taken notice, have you? <laughs> oh. This is For he is all that I have. His design is so creepy. I love it. This used to be the king, by the way, so I don't know what the hell happened to him. King Osiris. The consumed king. It's like... Oh, you hear that baby crying. This is an easy fight as well. It would be easier if I... Got my thing to plus four, but I need eight of those. Eight titanium scales. So I have to do that my own time. Did you get quite a bit by killing him, though? 
dear ocelot, Owl of Dragons. Yeah, I should be doing more damage, because usually when I fight him, I'm like plus four. But I'm plus three on this one. So I, sh I should be better at this. Or, like I said, be at a high level. But usually I'm like level 90, or plus, or 80 at least. Oh. Second phase. The, the baby crying. Uh, this is where things get annoying with him. This second like phase is so inconsistent with his hitbox. Because his second phase is like Vort, he just runs around like this. He either flies around or runs around. So you gotta be like, oh my god, I realized I'm gonna go one heat item left. Yeah, I'm. Yep, there we go. Fair enough. GG. Yeah, I sh lack of health. But yeah, his fight is really interesting in terms of lore, because there's not a lot about him in, in the in like the lore aspects of it. He's very unknown. Same with uh, his child, Ocelot. Which we never see. It's just a crying baby we always hear. It's like, we don't know who Ocelot is or the king that much. Do, do, they, do they explain how he transformed into that? I don't remember. But it's a very, like, like unsolved mystery. Like, who is this Ocelot? Like, the, the child of dragons? It's very eerie and, like, a lot of questions needs to be answered. Because the only... Because, um, obviously, Os Osiris used to be the king, and the king has his two sons, the uh, Lothric and Lorien. Oh, the guy just fought to his death? <laughs> I didn't, really, I didn't realize that. The dude just fell to his death. Mm, GG, I guess. But still, it's um, it, it's an interesting mystery. I don't think we'll ever get to know the answer of it. Anytime soon. But it's like, hmm. What does this mean now? Unless they show off in the DLC. Um... You know, the two DLCs we've done, I I, I, I have no idea. Because from software is always do these, always put those puzzles in, like, they never, they never answer them. Like, who's Osiris? Like, who's Ocelot? Like, what does this mean, though? Or well, what could this entail? And always leave it up in the air, so all these fans theorizing it. Which is always fun. I love that when you do those games. Because you never get, like, a clear image of it. And you, we, and we'll never will. God, that's, that's raw though. It's like some from the new. Oh fuck off! You got me from that. Ugh, I fucking hate them when I do that in, in in these games. The fog wall hit. All right, let me hear him focus, cause. I really need to upgrade my health and stamina. Before I fight some of the lake bosses, I'm doing like a whole farming bit. This is not good. I'm in the corner. He's jumping me. Okay, and he gets corner. Watch me, bro. Watch me. Ooh. Oh my God, bro. How my thing gone already? This is this ship run. Jesus.
it, it's so fucking s <sighs> I mean, I should be on a high level, so it's my fault, but it's... It's so... All over the place, man. That, that's... Ah, uh, such a... S shit. No, just shut the fuck up. Do this. Because... Uh, Again, that boss fight is so... It's it's not, it's not a really good fight, to be honest. It's a bit of a shit fight. It's just... The first phase is fine. It's only the second phase where he's just always running around, dashing about. It's like... It's more annoying than Vort. And Vort's already fast enough. So him being as fast as him... Plus with the girl curse. Because I, I honestly forgot that he did the curse. But it's death again? Dumbass. Nah. I did, I forgot they did the curse until I saw I was like, oh shit, he does, he does curse? Oh, there he is. So, it, it, so I didn't clock it in until I saw that. I was like, oh shit. Round three, baby! Let's go! There you go. Boom. So could have done a bit better, to be honest. Soul of the Consumed King. Finally. Now, yeah, that fight's a bit dumb in terms of the whole... The way he fights is really stupid. But, yeah, I just, the reason I couldn't beat him last time was just because I got him hitting that miss attack. I see that, buddy. I see that. You don't attack me, are you? <laughs> That's what I thought, bitch. But yeah, uh, at least we got that one done though. Again, I should be I should be on a higher level, so I made it harder for myself. 
But it's does half the fun of it. You can't one shot all these bosses easily. He's gonna have some challenge in it. Alright, um let's read the soul. Osiris went mad trying to harness his royal blood for a greater purpose, leading him to the heretics of the Grand Archives where he discovered the twisted worship of Seif the Pell Drake. Oh, again, I, I didn't know that. Sorry, I didn't know that because I don't really usually read these souls. So, he, so that's another connection to Seif the Scaleless. Oh. Hmm. I had no idea. Cool, no. The little, little dots collide again, like that. That's pretty cool. <laughs> That's pretty cool. Yes. So, like, it never mentioned Ocelot. Ocelot's like that one piece that just makes no sense. Like, he, I think... Do they mention it again? Maybe it might be him just being delusional. Because I don't think they ever mention Ocelot. He's the only one that talks about him. Why no? So, it's like... Is it just a image? If it's just, is it? Ugh. It's just a image of his like mind tricking him. Like who's this ocelot? Because he was like holding the child like this when we first see him. It was like this, like holding up a child. But then he like goes into fighting mode, like Rah! But then you, uh, it's like, where did he go? It was like he was never there. But then we hear the baby crying. It's like what? So it it really reminds you a lot of Bob. Bloodborne, where you like see the carrying queen, because like right before you fight Murga's wet nurse, you see her stomach like, and also Murg um, what's the other boss? Rom's Viker spider. You see her belly like cut open, like someone stole her baby. And then you see the see, it, then you hear the baby crying, and you see like the blood moon coming in, and then you see her, then you see the baby again when you fight Murga's wet nurse, and the baby stop, then the baby stops crying. It's like. What's the mean though? It's like, oh, it's so good. Honestly, man, these games are just immaculate in terms of the storytelling and like the lore. Oh, man, it's just so, oh, so good. Uh, but yeah, with uh, um, with um, Osiris Soul, we can get his um breath attack, the White Dragon Breath. Just fifty intelligence. Good God, and just like in any other Souls game. The Holy Moonlight Sword. Wow. Oh, the magic. It's a C on magic and E on strength. Ooh, 26 intelligence. I'm level 8. Damn. But still, though, this is a dope weapon. I seen. I want to build on this, but I don't like using magic builds. Just seem a bit of a gimmick. I'll. I'll uh, yeah, I'll buy it. Come on. It's the. It, it's the Holy Moonlight Sword. Come on. I got to. I got to, man. Let's just. I know I can't wield it, but we can look at it though. You could do like a projectile with it. Oh, I don't have the intelligence for it, but you can do like a project online. Because like in all these Souls games, when you get the Holy Moonlight Sword, you could do like a projectile with it. Obviously, you need like the attributes for it. But it's cool to have though. Just to res respect the drip. And apparently, and from what I've seen, it's a really good, like, magic weapon as well, so. Oh god, yeah, though. Yeesh. But yeah, I would like to do a build with it one day. Maybe not soon. I just... I don't like using magic in this game, so I just like using... I don't know. I'm just, I'm just biased. But it is, it is a fun weapon, though, to use. As you can see, it looks these dead dragons. These are all dragons, by the way. You see these in the Arch Dragon Peak? But these are all dead. What's up? Let's sever this dude. He's got like a viper mouth. And don't be fooled by their appearance, because they will power you on. If if you like get like a dozen of them on you, they will like slash you to death. Oh yeah, right. Get the path of the dragon. We need this to get access to the um Arch Dragon Peak. I legitimately forgot that you could do this here. Also? Final scale, that's one. I need eight more to get the um, plus four, which I'll need. And... 
How do you die? The Titan scale. Bro just vanished. Hold on. <laughs> Hold on. Wait, wait. How do you die? He just. He just clipped through the floor. He just clipped out of existence. I was like, nah, I'm done, bro. He's just bye. Uh, I thought someone just kicked him out of the server. I was like, Jesus. Oh. <laughs> one more time, one more time, one more time, one more time. He's got a cool cape, though. He's got the um, Abyss Watchers cape. He's <laughs> <laughs> so stupid. He's just an. <gasps> bro just went to the void. Oh, yeah, right. Can do this. Fog wall. Walk through it. We're back here. Untended graves. This is where we start off the main game. But it's different though. And you notice when you go back and when you do certain stuff, it looks different. All right, this, this is this is a big law dom. This area is has a lot of um, purpose with um, undex gundia. But yeah, we're we're in the past now, by the way. We we um from hitting that tunnel, we somehow gone back in time. It's weird, I don't know. There's a ring over there you can get, which is increasing my FPS discharge, so I'm good on that. But yeah, when we walk through here, we 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 enter the past. So this is before the Lords of Cinder awoke. So this is this is what it looks like. It's all dark. Funny, funny not the dark soul. So, <laughs> yeah, it's like I, I always find it weird that they have like little to no transitions of going back in time in this game. Okay, you shut the fuck up. So literally, you walk through a wall, you walk through a tunnel, and then you wake up, and then you end up like, oh yeah, I'm in the past now. It's like, what? In Dark Souls 1, you get dragged in by Master's arm. And then in, um... In, um... Dark Souls 2, you walk through a tree to... With the... Mist. In this game, you just walk through a wall and you just go back in time. Time travel walls, man. I don't make them up. Or you crack an egg and it's like... Oh, shit, where am I at now? Or a Bloodborne, you get grabbed by the, um... The amygdala. Is it amygdala or the amygdala? I can't remember. The dude, the... I, dude, I use these guys to fuck off. I go, honestly. I hate them. But yeah, it's like... Uh, it's so creepy. I say creepy a lot in this episode, didn't I? Like these dogs, they're creepy. This water is creepy. Me being creepy. I mean, these dogs are chilling here. They're just, they're just having a good time in the bath. Like, Moto Moto likes you. A la I'm big. A la I'm chunky. A la I'm brown. A la I'm dumpy. Oh. Final song, though. My name is Mono Mono. Yeah, you say a double. Here we go. Go Mono Mono. Here we go. Go Mono Mono. What the fuck am I doing? What the fuck am I doing? Oh. Am I, am I seriously that lonely? I'm just sourcing Mono Mono to myself. Ooh, look at these dudes. Ooh, these can be tiny nice scales. Ooh, yes. Why am I doing this? I don't know. But this is gonna be four scales. I'll need another four more afterwards to get plus four. Alright. Oh, God. Oh, God. Yep, yep. Figure that out as much that'll happen. Panel to deal with this? Oh, I might be. I might be. I might be. If I don't get pinned over. I'm getting penetrated by crystals. Pause. That's one. And that's two. Yay. Oh, I get two each one? Hold on. Oh, I got six. Damn. Okay, so I need two more then. Sweet. 
Okay then. Um, the next fog, fog, um, fog, 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 fog. The next bonfire is up ahead, I think. Or is there, or there isn't one? I can't remember, but you get invaded by an NPC here in a second. Wait for it. Yeah, here we go. Yeah, there's no bonfire here. Lady, what are you doing? You magic shit, daughter of the crystal at Creamhild. Words. That's that's cool though. Got like a giant hill on it. No. Oh god, you parried me. Oh, you got a you got a happy ear. You're like a crystal happy ear. But I'm not saying the word because I'll get banned. Sometimes it looks like I'm saying the word rapier, which we all know is a bad word. Especially out of context. Oh god, oh god, she's she's getting rapier on me. See? Oh, you fucking healed. You may uh, you may have your rapier, but I got my big dong sword. Dong. Okay, that's pretty gay though. And I'm out of Estus. Rich. Oh, I have magic missiles. See, my just game's so broken. It's like, honestly, bro, you can literally one-tap everything with the pound of magic. It's like with Elder Rings, like, Dark Souls 3 and Elder Ring magic is just mind-bendingly broken. Same with Demon Souls as well. Well, not as much. The Souls 1 would be powerful, but it just takes so long to wind up the attacks. So, because I remember going for my first playthrough of the game of Dark Souls 1, like, four years ago. I was doing like a strength magic build and it was just not working. I barely used my magic in that build. I just went for like pure strength and I came with the uh, great curved um, sword to get from joining Nito's Covenant. And I stuck with that for my entire game and then the persistent playthroughs. Like it's a really good weapon. There's a lot of damage, it's like a sword. Like this basically. Okay, time for a attempting fight. Oh, I can summon someone. I'm good, though. Oh, there he is. Champion Gundia. The prime of his past. Oh, I get ready for this one. I'm going to be here for a while. This guy is very tough. If you're, like, under levels. Which, again, I should be on, like, level 80 and this on plus 4. Yeah, so I'll need to focus on this one, so give me some quiet time. Thank you.
Nice! Okay, got, got a little bit anxious at the end of that because I was getting too many hits, but nice! That was a good one, bro. That was a good one. <laughs> I said I was gonna be hot, but I, I pummeled him. I mean, I do know his moveset pretty well. He's, oh, he's such a fun fight, though. I love um, Gondia. Um, yeah, um, let's read this all. Now I have a chance to, but his fight is so good. He's, um, oh, 10 seconds. Uh, once a champion came late to the festivals and was greeted by a shrine without a fire and a bell who were not told. Mm. Very, very lonely Gundyr story is. So basically, uh, let me take my headphones off. But um, let, me, let me give a quick story time because Gundyr um, was supposed to be the chosen undead, the Ashen One, us basically. He was supposed to be us in the past, but. Because he was really, really strong and no one could beat him. But when he came to here, the untended graves, no bonfire, no maidens were here. No bells were told to awaken the Lord of Cinder. And there was no uh, maiden to level him up and get grant him access to you know, killing the lords. So he was just stuck here, like, alone. So he just secluded himself waiting here until someone strong enough came by to to kill him and be like, okay, you're you're meant to be the chosen one. So we went back in time to sort of kill him, and then our sort of past selves from the beginning of the game goes to this area in the future to kill his weaker self to be like, okay, now you're ready. So we're killing him twice to prove our waveliness, which is like, bro, that's so good storytelling. It's so cool that you fight a boss in the past and then you fight him again in the beginning of the game you don't realize it until you get to this point far in the game it's like oh it's so cool plus his gundy is a hard fight as well the only reason i beat him that well because i because i know his movesets in and out i know what time he used to get in hit in obviously he has some very quick attacks especially that spear charge one because he does like quick 180 with a spear it's uh i think i think a little bit anxious on the last bit there because I was getting a lot of hits, and I was like, oh god, oh god, okay, okay, don't, don't embarrass yourself. I was like, dead focus, but, oh, man. Gundia is such a good fight. I love Gundia. He's so cool. And he has a lot of raw implication as well. Um, let's go back for now. I want to, um, see what, I want to see, I want to read his soul, I want to see what his soul does. And but we, we need to come back here later anyway. Like, after this bit, because there's, there's like a... You can get one of the endings in this area. Or you can activate one of the endings. Also, um, yeah. Uh, also, there's another item back there I need to get, which is just useful. So, uh, what... Do you give me your sword and Howl's ring, oh. don't you? Oh, no, you don't. You do, yeah, you do give me your halberd. The 30 strength, and you give me, me the prison's chain. Increases vigor, endurance, and vitality, but takes more damage. So, that's good for like, um, no hit runs. The speed running stuff, because that's really good. But not my jam, though. I like my, I like my stuff as they are. Plus, I got that Ring of Favors. R Ring of Favors Elite. Praise the sun for the Ring of Favors, am I right? Hell yeah. Heave ho, Sponge, my boy. We need to open up this door. But yeah, obviously, this is exactly like the um, Untended Graves. So, we need to head back to where we started off the game, but in the past. Also, there's some random Orlando Knights here. No idea why. I think it's just like to make it difficult. It's like a Dark Souls 1 when you try to get to the winds just these random knights here looking after him but yeah here we are are you still chasing me no good but here we are though back at filing shrine but this time it's very more lonely very more desolate you can get the coiled sword fragment and with this just like in the, the, the lord vessel or the feather from dark souls 2 can fast travel infinitely. Return caster to the last bonfire using the resting co okay bonfires are linked to the to one another inversely retain retaining their 
infamy long after their purpose is exhausted. So even if the fire dies, these sword fragments can still infinite fast travel you. There's some other people we can meet here. Look. It's a merchant lady. She's been here from the from the beginning. Well, fancy that. So she, so we saw her in the past, so she will recognize us when we met her first time in the game. Well, thou shouldst my purpose know. What can this old handmaid provide thee? And she sells some unique items in the past which you can't get in the future. Like for example, Autorius's armor set. I mean, I, I'm really tempted to buy it, but it's cost like 46k to buy that alone. Let me buy the, um, I don't think the legs are that powerful. I want to buy the main, I want to buy you. I want to buy the helmet as well, because the helmet is iconic. I love the helmet. Sell all these now. Um, sell some of these, because I'm not going to be using these. <laughs> oh, I love her. Um, yeah, I just want to like... <sighs> Hell yeah. I love Atorius' armor. It's not the best one in terms of stats, but it's just so iconic. I love it. Yeah, see, it's not that... Ooh, that looks cool though. Ooh, that looks cool though. Oh, fashion souls, baby. You can't beat it. I mean... You know, honestly, the, the sword I've got is kind of similar to um, Artorius' sword from the from Dark Souls 1, in a way. It's a bit smaller. Still similar. And of course, with Andre, he gets hammer. He can use his weapon. There's not much here, then, really. Oh, yeah, um, other than... Shit, I didn't get the key. Fuck. You're supposed to buy the key. Ah, oh, fuck. Um... So yeah, you're supposed to do it. Okay. Right. Ooh! Um, okay, let me quickly check something first. Okay, after a slight bit of a uh, mishap, after some farming and doing some stuff, I got where I need to go. So I think what I have to do, cause I tried to go to the past, but then it was locked, cause even though I bought the key, so I think I have to go to the present, and open it, and I have to go to the past, and then it should be open. Oh no, wait, no, it's here. I was thinking of it in the, in the past. I, I don't think you can open it in the, pa in the past. I don't know. Look, it's not important. This is this is important, however, though. But I keep a soul. Obviously, in Dark Souls 1, you can use these to upgrade your um, Estus flasks. Some of them um, on their bone shards in this game. But this is very important for the story. This firekeeper preserves the bonfire and serves its champion. She is said to have soothed and accepted the dark sigil which has tainted her soul. And yet her soul will one day embed itself in a blo blossom into another firekeeper. So this was the firekeeper that's supposed to have been with champion Gundia but she died before they could meet. I don't know how she died or why, why she died up here? Maybe because of the nice view? I mean, it's a really nice view. The mountains over there. And then you can see Lothric Castle in the distance. We still gotta go all the way up top there. So, yeah. But still though, it's... Her sort of emplacement in the story is very critical because... After she died and... Gundia saw that she died, I was like, Well, I can't do anything now, can I? So I just wait until the next Chosen on Dead arrives, which is me. And then she and he was just chilling all the way like down there. Down here, where my head is now. It was just chilling there until it's like until the next one's ready. So cool. Plus she, um our fight keeper is her sister. So this fight keeper and the one we are, the one we have are siblings. So that's why she became a firekeeper to like see what happened to her sister. Guess we know what happened to her then. And we can give her the soul. 
Oh, Patches, yeah, I forgot about you. Oh, you sneezing little douche. Sorry, friend. <laughs> Be more careful. By the gods, curiosity is gonna kill you, kittens. Some places are better left alone, you know. Oh, sorry. Am I a tad too late? <laughs> Patches, you absolute goober. Just you wait, Patches. Besides, you're surrounded by ladies. Every man's dream. Am I? Right. No. <laughs> Darn you, Patches. I'll get to you when I get out of here. Plus, where, 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 where are the women then, huh? I don't see any here. I'm just here by myself. Fun fact, I'm scared of women. <laughs> uh, it's, it's, it's been a lonely four years. But Valentine's Day is coming soon. It makes money. You know, you know, gag. How do people even do that? Like, you know, do that. My gag reflexes will not allow me to do that, honestly. Here we can get another ring that boosts the healing you can get. So that's good for, like, um, speed runs as well. When you try to speed run through a boss, you keep getting hit. That boosts the amount of healing you can have in a, in a single jog. So it's a good ring to have. Oh, yeah, I also got the um, another Estus shot and also got the silver covenant serpent ring which is very good for farming it's like you have to go up there remember when i went to the pass you could hop the top of the roof line and if you go over there and hit the wall and go down there with my where my head is right now above the throne throne there the chest you can get and it gives you the servant silver covenant serpent ring which boosts the amount of souls you get from killing people but i don't need that now because i don't want it now um Yes. But yes, so we can give the soul to the firekeeper here. Welcome home, and this will lead you to one of the endings. I think this leads you to the true ending. Because there's three endings. Yeah, you get the, um, the quote unquote bad ending, which is like the age of usurper. I think I can't remember. The normal ending is letting the fire continue and, restart using this and restarting the whole cycle again. And then the true ending is ending the flame once and for all. Like, letting this world die and then the next world could move on. So that's what we're doing. We are essentially... Every time we find a chosen undead or a chosen hollow, we play as them and we sacrifice ourselves to keep the flame going so this world does not die. But this game is about ending, breaking the loop and breaking cycles. So the true, the, the true good ending is that we... We let the fire die and let this world die and be like, look, our age is done. We've been here long enough. Time for the next age to move on. Either be the age of whatever it could be. But it's really like some have been like, nothing lasts forever. Everything disappears and fades into existence. Even, even like things today, like Amazon one day will never be around. Unlikely, but it's something to think about. It will happen at one point. We just don't know when. So it's like interesting thing to think about. But like this world will perish at some point, millions of years in the future. I mean, who knows? But it's time to break loops. Ashen one, this is much like what lies within me. Mm -hmm. Then let it find its own place within my bosom she will understand we are both fire keepers of bosoms i like bosoms the fire keeper is now able to heal the dark sigil basically the dark sign that we have Forgive me sister so here we go may the flames guide thy way siblings so we can heal the grand sigil cost 17k to do so so you can increase your dark sigil by speaking to um, Londor. So Londor, this dude, this geezer right here who died, he increases your dark sigil when you die and levels you up. So you can do that, but it takes more souls to get the dark sigil cured. Because there was one run I did where I did a lot of those. It cost like 80k to get that heals. So I was like, fuck no. 
But yeah, it's um I think that's the true ending, if I'm not mistaken. Cause it's like very like like with um the, the endings in Elder Rings, like very ambiguous. It's like it could mean a lot of things. Like it could mean this, it could mean that. It's like Like getting the good, the true ending in this run, and the same thing with Bloodborne, Sekiro, and Elden Ring. It's like, it could mean so much, yet yeah, so little, it's like, we don't know. It's like in this game, we let the fight die, let the next world continue, but it could lead, to where it could lead to something else, or... In Bloodborne, where we um, transcend into the higher being. Or in Sekiro, we um, get the true ending, and we sort of help the Divine Child. That ending's confusing. I don't I have to do some more research on that one, but that's the one I'm like most lost about. And then, uh, then Elder Ring as well with um, the Age of Stars as well. It's like another thing onto itself entirely. And then, I, I, and then that makes you think like, huh? Maybe the DLC will lead on to the one of the endings because if it's like, because if it's like in Dark Souls Three where you go to the future and the past. It could mean both things like what ending will it lead from? Will it lead from Ronnie's ending? Will it lead from the becoming the Lord of Frenzy Flame? Which is probably one of the most interesting endings because Me Melina said that if you become the Lord of Frenzy Flame, she will hunt you down. And and, and during the end cutscene, if you um if you become the Lord of Frenzy Flame before going to the fire giants and fighting the boss, you sacrifice yourself, but then after that you go to um Faramazula. Basically if you get the Lord of the Frenzy Flame ending, you Melina doesn't kill herself and you save her, but in but in doing so she will forever hate you because you accept the Frenzy Flame within you. And then at the end of the game, once you beat Radagon and the Elden Beast and you basically just do the whole thing, you burn the earth tree to cinders. And Melina looks at the ashes of Marika, I think, and she says like something something like, Oh, I'm gonna hunt you down and she's got like this um, sort of magical face thing on her. Which is similar to Rani's like face the walling thing. It's again, it's very like it's 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 a lot. It's a lot. This game's just delving so much, like once you get your hand in, the whole it's so good. Honestly, it's so good. Um yeah, but I'm gonna leave it here though. I've done a, quite a lot of bits here. Mostly story bits, but still a lot of good progress. So the next areas we're heading into are um, Lothra Castle. So again, this is where the difficulty will spike up again for the bosses, because the next bosses we're gonna fight... We've only got two more bosses left till the final boss. We've got two more optional bosses left, and then that's it until the final boss. Hey, that dude's wearing the Storm King. I'm sorry, cool. Um, but yeah, the dude, we only got two more bosses left, which is... The Dragon Slayer armor, again, go to fight, and then the, the princes, which is the last Lord of Cinder, for the throne. And then after that, we've got the final boss, and then all the optional bosses. Only being two more left. I think there's two more optional bosses left, which is in our Dragon Peak, and that's it other than the DLC. Because we can do paint with Arian Dell now, but I'm gonna wait because of a certain someone, you, you know what I mean? <laughs> and then obviously, <laughs> um, the Ring of City DLC, which we don't get to until we d defeat before we get to the farm boss, which is like right next to it. So I think we've got like a few more episodes left because next episode is gonna be wrapping up the main game stuff. That's I want to I want the next episode to be wrapping up main game stuff and then the, the episode after that will be like okay wrap things up let's head to the DLCs so they're gonna take all my time and effort oh I am going to um, farm a little bit more in my own time because I want to get to like level 100 at least so I'm level 74 now getting to level 100 is gonna be getting the high level is gonna be vital from this point forward because. All the bosses are gonna be like insanely hard. Not just hard, but with my stuff I've got on now, it's gonna be it's gonna be way more harder than usual. Cause usually I'm like level like like level hundred at least. 
because I'm like, because I'm pretty sure I'm one point, because I'm like usually at level 120. By, um, by the time I get to like end game boss. But yeah, I'm doing really well on my on this level on this build I'm doing. I'm gonna keep it. I'm I'm. Ugh. Problems words today. I'm sorry. I'm gonna keep with this build, this weapon though, this weapon, this armor set because it looks dope. Not the best in sort of attributes, but fashion souls for a reason, baby. Look at me, I'm cold as hell. Goddamn right, I do. Look at him go. Hey. Uh, but yeah, I'm gonna leave it here. So the next one should be wrapping up the main game stuff, hopefully, because we've still got one optional area left, which is relatively short. And then we got the final two main story ones, which you can just rush by. Because um, the next next boss I can get to really quickly. It's just the one after that it gets like, you know, it's a bit more complicated. But still, next we are making some good progress because in this episode we've beaten, um, we've been in Yorm the Giant, the Dancer of Boreal Valley, um. Os Osiris, the Consumed King, and Con Champion Gundia. That's four bosses done. That's really good progress. And, and like I said, we've only got four more left in the main game until the final boss. So, yeah. Ooh. This is where things have fun. This is this is where the fun begins now, truly. Ooh. I say, who let this man cook? I did. No. I, I didn't cook it. Miyazaki did. So, how many hours are we into the game now? We are 11 hours, 15 minutes, and 50 seconds in it. Alright, pretty good. Yeah, I am going to um, end it here then. Like I said, we've just got a few more left, but that's it. So, again, if you want to subscribe, you can do. I appreciate it. You can check out my other Dark Souls esque series, like Dark Souls 2, 1 and 2. Um, Elder Ring and Demon Souls are done when they came out. Uh, but yeah, um, like I said, thanks for watching, everybody. Have a blessed day. Be good people. Um, stay cool. Don't do that. Don't, 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 don't you dare go. Don't you dare go hollow. Till next time, my friends. Stay cool. Stay cool and crispy. Skadoosh.